All right, today we're gonna kick it old school. We're gonna break out the beetle spin. See if some of these old techniques still works. Let's hit the creeks. We're on the mighty Gasconade. Let's do this. All right, let's throw it up underneath there. Let's see what we come up with. Oh yeah. Yes, yes, yes. The beetle spin. Now we are in super shallow water, water, so I'm not really expecting something super crazy to hit it. But we got a nice, nice little greeny. Got super gorgeous spawning colors, white fins. Yeah. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. Get a little bigger and we'll talk later. Let's try that again. We had something to think about it. We got a little bit of a current over there and it's letting this, letting this shine. That's funny. There's a bunch of fish and they're flashing at it, flipping on its side when it goes by. Oh, got another touch at it. Something's thinking about it. We have a bunch of little, other little panfish chasing her down. Goodness. Yeah, buddy. You swiped at it pretty dang gum good. You swiped at it pretty good. Look at that greenie. That's a healthy one. Look at the belly on that guy. Right in the corner of the mouth. That was perfect hook set. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. The beetle spin has always been kind of like, has always had a special spot in my tackle box. It works well, especially when you're just after panfish. Just throw it out there, let it roll, stop it for a second, start it again. And it helps because they're super cheap. I had them chase it all the way up and smack it right up at my feet. Yeah. All right. Look at that, another healthy greenie. Well, I think we're gonna change colors and try a little different color than this black one. Not that the black one's bad, I love the black one, but yeah. There you go. See you later, buddy. This uh, shallow stream pan fishing is just, oh, it's so much fun. All right, so this is my tackle box that I brought today. I'm thinking maybe this orange one with that chartreuse or this yellow one. Hmm. I'm thinking we're going to give this one a shot first. We got the orange chartreuse spinner. Yeah, this is kind of an upgraded spinner that I put on it, but I think that actually looks really, really good. What do you guys think? I think for a lot of us, this is where we started the beetle spin. See if that yellow blade makes a difference. Well, I could feel that heavier blade just thumping the water just a little bit, and there we are. Oh, I missed him. No, no, he's still on there. Sweet. Oh, we got a rocky. The heavier blade, you can turn it slower. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. See you later, buddy. Yeah. Let's try that again. That was my first cast with this uh, yellow blade. That Rocky came up and just destroyed it. 
and let go. Oh, we got tagged again. I just saw a pretty good sized bass run up and snag some minnows right next to me. So maybe he'll get interested in this thing. Yes. Wow, and I think we actually upgraded the lure size and got a smaller fish. That can happen. Oh, see you later, buddy. And if you can see, I do a little modification to these little baits. I cut that arm off that extends over here, and then I just pinch it closed on the wire, and that helps it from twisting in the water like this. Makes it run a little straighter.